Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky Next Generation Base Building Part 2. Before I start, I want to say a few things. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, to all people who celebrate Christmas on December 25th and the New Year on 31st. And to all Orthodox people who are celebrating Christmas on January 7th and uh, New Year's Eve on uh, January 13th. Also, what I want to say is uh, welcome to all my new subscribers. Uh, thank you for watching my videos, all of you. Thank you, I appreciate that. I cannot even describe you how much. And I'm trying to do my best to, to help you, to have a lot of fun and yeah, to provide you with some useful information. Also, I will tell you, so some of you might say, oh dude, you are late, like quite late. But the reason for that is, you know what? I'll tell you uh, about that on my way down. This will be part two base building. I'll try to make this video as quick as possible. We'll go through all these things here and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you some really important things that can save your save games and like uh maybe your gear i don't know as you can see have you ever seen your base this close to your freighter uh, well <laughs> look at this look this is as far as it goes so look at my health if i go higher i'm starting to die all right let me quickly fix that and yeah i have built a stairway to heaven yeah, I know. It's crazy, but I had to do it. I had to try. I Since we cannot build a real space station, I, I figured out, like, you know what? Maybe you can build the stairs all the way to the space, but then when you reach the atmosphere where the planet ends, you start to die. So, no, this is the highest point you can go. I mean, you can build your base this high, but just be aware that your base might actually disappear. What? happened to me and you can see here cables but why you see that yeah this sometimes bugs out and disappears i don't know why and yeah anyway if you have vr whoa if you yeah look at that beautiful if you have vr this could be quite experience so i'll tell you what happened on my way down so <laughs> all right so why am I publishing this video so late? That's because uh, on 29th in country where I currently reside, we had like a huge earthquake, like 6.4 on Richter scale. One whole city was destroyed. Uh, not whole city, but like one third of the city is like destroyed. And everyone, everyone gathered now together uh, to fix that and yeah now we're kind of fine a few people died unfortunately like it, last year was like crazy jinxed I don't know what to say yeah and uh, I, I abandoned the city where I lived so that's the reason I didn't record this earlier um, I really hope that you understand and yeah once again <laughs> look at this uh, thank you Thank you for watching my videos and yeah, drop a like, subscribe if you're new to my channel and let's keep going. So yeah, that was the highest uh, jump you have ever seen. If you want to do that, come and visit my base. Hold on, that first, come on. Yeah, where's the address? I want, I want my address. Okay, you can see the address in the uh, bottom left corner if you want to come. You can come to my base, I think, through the Space Anomaly. I'm quite sure that you'll be able to find. The name of my base is Solaris. And yeah, I have actually built real stairs, as you can see. Okay, what's going on? I, I, I broke the game. <laughs> I'm sorry for this. All right, for all of you who watched my base building video, let me do this. All right, I added some things. So what I did, I destroyed all my base. Then I have put these plates. All right, that's the first thing you should do. 
and then on top of those plates you can start to build your cuboid rooms that way you won't have any trouble with uh, height and uh, problems and modularity problems all right i have prepared something for for you here but then i added like uh you know a few teleporters those are all all decorations over there that does nothing and then this teleporter connects down there and that's basically it nothing fancy nothing special so let's start building part so let's quickly run uh, through this so these are all decorations you take one you oh i don't have any components all right it's just decoration it casts some light but it does nothing and then you can just press press control and you can connect power to it and yeah it glows hold control scroll to uh your x delete sign and that's it decorations are just decorations all right structures we already went through these so you know all about these. Just take it and, you know, build whatever you want. You can stack them. Where is it? Yeah, you can just stack them. There is no point uh, doing this. But if you like how it looks like, just knock yourself out. All right? All these buildings, it's, it's self-explanatory. That's it. Specialists. Foundations, you can build these foundations wherever you want. You know, put something on top of that. These are foundations. Um, and of course, okay, I'll press C. Where's my C? And on top of that, I can one of these. All right. You can do things like that. That's it about building. Just take it, build something. And yeah, technology. And that's why... This is just decorations. Nothing. This this does nothing. All right. So those are under here. Adornments. Just build it. You can, you know, go crazy with it. Anyway, the reason we are here is mostly technology. Okay. Here we are in my base. So let's go through this. All right, you already know about this. This is a portal. You can build it, power it, and you can travel wherever you want. Okay, base salvage capsule. That's this thing here. So, inventory full. Am I full? I'm not full, but it, it it's buggy a little bit. The, the purpose of this is if you have another base and you delete your base, you destroy your base, all uh, materials related to your base building should show up inside of here. I don't know, it bugs out sometimes. And then you would open like menu like this and inside you would find your chromatic metal, whatever, pure ferrite, or whatever you had. All right, you can build one per base. All right, galactic trade terminal, nothing special. You know all about this. Health station, if you build it, you can restore your health. Same with this. And now you have basically large refiner and medium refiner that's this thing here you build it you're collecting recipes as you're playing the game you're placing your materials here and you can craft whatever this is the most complex refiner so three is the maximum uh, materials you can put inside this is medium refiner appearance modifier we already went to teleporter. Oh yeah, sphere creator. Very, very interesting thing. All right, look at this. You create your sphere. Come on, initiate sphere creation. And that's it. All right, you can push it. And yeah, nothing. You create another one. When you, when you create another one, this one will disappear. All right, come on. You see, that one is gone. The only purpose for this, except it could look good and, I don't know, it's kind of interesting, is you can create like field like this with walls and some pillars inside and then you can play, uh, I don't know, if you have your buddies, you can just, you know, play that football with it. Like that other game, I don't know what's the name of that game where you play football with cars. You can make actually that here. Uh, yeah, just knock yourself out. These 
are teleporter cables. You saw that in the previous video. This is just light floor. It does lit you up a little bit. You see, it casts light a little bit. Just, I don't know. I don't see any special purpose for it other than decoration. Message module. All right, you can basically put some message inside of this. Uh, yeah, nothing special. Light box and noise box. All right, let's go inside. All right, can you hear that? This thing just casts sound. If you hold E, it just changes sound. All right, this thing is a switcher. Let's let's uh, let's start from here. When you create byte beat device, it just creates weird sounds. All right. Then you go inside. And you have a bunch of options. Uh, these are melodies basically, and you can randomize that with this like randomize all elements, or just this. Okay, and then you can turn on the rhythm machine. And also you can randomize that. And scales. You see? That creates sounds. So now when you have those sounds, this cable is... You can connect this music output to here this input when you connect that this device and you have also to, to power power this device uh with, with power of course it's kind of complicated so i have trouble to explain you so now you can hear how music turns on and off these things so let's say just say that it counts one two three four and on every first beat we want to do something all right So you can see that this switch, when you connect this output to this device or any other device, based on music, you can turn and uh, on and off or things that you want to turn on and off based on music. That's it. And then you can go, I don't know. This is kind of crazy thing. Uh, let's say that we'll do this. Okay. And now light should go much more crazier, you see? And this sound generator things also it becomes much more annoying. And yeah, that's the purpose of this. Power this, these devices. When you put them on the floor, it's not like with other devices. You have to power them. Actually, you have to use the cable, all right? I made this just for you. And I will turn that off. All right, I have to go inside. And let's just kill this. I have built this just for you. <laughs> All right, let's see what else do we have. Well, okay, I'll show you this a little bit later. Actually, this is very complicated. I, I, I find it very buggy. It's supposed to feed animals. When you place that outside, you find a herd of animals. You place that, you put the uh, bait inside, and that should like feed the animals and attract them. And then this thing is supposed to harvest uh, them and it works I, I don't find it that it works well you can only use certain uh, baits to to attract the animal you cannot feed them with regular it's I'm, I'm not even going to show this if you want just build one press C e, uh, outside build one outside press C e, and try to put the bait inside you'll have so many problems you you can put some uh, fruit i don't know you have to make something there are two or three things that you can put inside and then you need to build this and uh, it's just i don't find it very useful here we go if you're on some planet and you're looking for structures or um i don't know uh escape pods just build this one uh and then you can either use this if you have one drop pod coordinate data or just locate nearby structures. It will initiate planetary sweep, and then it will probably show you, oh, there is a some building nearby or something. I don't know. Let's see. 
Yeah, you see? And then you can go over there, see observatory. If you go to observatory, you can get all different kind of things. Uh, it can show you locations of some uh, alien structures or in some places you could get some recipes and yeah it's crazy and then pick it up all right i know that many of you like hey why are you showing this not everyone knows what is this some people are just starting to play so yeah save beacon just read the text on the right side you can place it you'll have markers do you see that star in the distance i know that i have something uh over there uh where i want to come back and that's why i'm placing those stars uh these beacons that way I can see, oh, uh, I marked something over there. Usually I know what is it. And also you can, uh, yeah, press E and restore point saved. Okay, save point. This is just regular same point. I build it, I press E, I hold it. Yeah, same thing. It does this beautiful thing. It shows me something. Yeah, this looks cool. Communication station. All right. So you can build that, uh, let's say here, on the ground. Build one. Press E, then you go inside. Yeah, and the ladder is port. All right. So now someone who's coming on this planet, even from the great, great distance, will be able to see that there is a message here and that there is something right here. Even when you, you get close to it, it just shows you the message, all right? But people from the disc, for example, if you're on the planet and you're, I don't know, you found some resources, all right? You can place this like for other players, like you have a bunch of, I don't know what, right here, like gold or mine, whatever, just that's it. Let me quickly, yeah, not removable. I didn't know that part because I never done that before. Let me see something. May I? Not removable. It reads Solaris port. And that's stupid. No, not removable. Great. <laughs> I've learned something too. Because I never tried to actually remove it. Okay. This is just portable refiner. Go inside. Fuel this. Put some fuel inside. Usually carbon. And then you want to do, I don't know. Copper, turn copper into chromatic metal. Holy, and this thing will create chromatic metal for you or whatever you need. Eventually, you'll get this thing, personal refiner. Uh, you can get that on uh, Space Anomaly uh, when you buy your upgrades on Space Anomaly at vendors. You will get this nutrient processor. Basically, it looks like refiner. Okay, you build that, you go inside. You put your, I don't know, star ball. You see, you, and you can build your baits. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking at these aquatic buildings. I'm not gonna go through those because I don't even have them a lot. But the thing is, you build everything like here, but just under the water, and that's it. You know, just build the things, and everything is described on the right side. Even though I don't like, they're not doing a really good job with them. Uh, describing what everything does all right so this is basically basic thing base computer build your base this is the first thing you build at the at the very beginning you build this then you go inside and you can start building improving your buildable technology this is where you buy your first things that you can build all right you can switch it here and you can buy all these these things here and that's it Similar to what you have on your space anomaly. Storage units. All right. Okay. These containers are regular containers that you're seeing around the game. You must have Atlas Pass V1. And you can just harvest it from time to time. All right. And eventually it will recharge. You can come again and just take whatever is inside. Um, same is with this. You already know what's this. Okay, these uh, storage uh, containers. You can build one container zero per base, one container one per base. Each of these comes one per base, all right? 
So when you build it, I cannot be build another number two container. And it's all connected with your freighter and other bases. So when you access your container in your other base, you can see whatever you have inside. Or you can access it from the freighter. I have described that on all about freighter videos, all right? So one per base. Let's continue really quickly with this. Okay. Regularly fabricates useful items for its constructor. I build that and I never get anything. I cannot even press E. I cannot like... Yeah. Nothing. So you already know. I, I would call this that this is bugged out. It says that you can collect things. I don't know, maybe I missed something. If I did, please post that in the comment section. I mean, I'm giving my best to share my knowledge with you, but I don't know everything. I mean, yeah, small crate. Just ornament, beautiful for your bees. Okay, specialists, exocrafts. You want your vehicle, build one like what I did over there. And then you can sit in your exo exocraft, which you can summon by pressing X. Come here, vehicles, summon exocraft, and summon your exocraft. I, I uh, have put shortcut key number two, and that's it. That's how you build your exocrafts, all right? These, okay, I, I'll i tell you this. So I tried to build uh, a racing track right here, and I've spent so much time trying to build it, and it's not too good i had to build multiple bases because if you i i had intention to build a huge racing track like over there then up 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 then something crazy you know but then i have to build base there base there base there in order to connect all that it it has become crazy and i just quit but look at this where is it this i like all right you do this, you put your vehicle, go inside, and it boosts your speed. And you can place them all over this track. What, what's great, I'm holding shift right now, and that's, yeah, depleted. It, it works both ways. So this thing is just what it is. You, you, you just go up. And as you can see here, this thing allows you to summon your uh, vehicle from anywhere else on the planet. Terminals. As you are playing your game, you will get to build your terminals. You build your terminals and you usually have someone like get... Yeah, there it is. So you build those, you press C, he, he gives you a mission. And then, for example, on weapon terminal, if you do a mission for them, you come back with your mission completed, you'll get the blueprint for a weapon or something that you can use. Same, uh, you can get material, uh, schematics, and, you know, stuff like that. Farming. Some of those are uh, decorational, like this thing. It basically does nothing. But if you build, let's say, this. Okay. I did it here. You can harvest your carbon from time to time let's say you can make a farm for carbon out of those yeah also when you build these you usually if they're outside you have to power them up and then you can plant some plants inside bam all right i don't do that i don't find it very fun you knock yourself out you know let's do power switches all right this is the special one, because this thing, I don't know about other players, but this can save your save game, your gear, save progress, and I'll tell you why, okay? Oh, what happened there? I have built a special building just for you, all right? It's right here inside. Uh, I've, I've built power over there, and then I brought it inside. And yeah, that's it. I powered all these. These are like panels. You can see if you build them up there, you, you're getting some light. But, you know, this kind of looks ugly. So, demonstration. Oh, now, I don't know why is, why is not mask because I do have this. 
but I don't care. Let's see. Yeah, okay, it works. So, first I'll warn you with these switches. Let's go back to our switches. You have switches like wiring, inverter, auto switch, wall switch, proximity switch, floor switch, and button. So, what you could encounter, imagine that this door is like entrance in building like this. Okay. And it's door powered by uh, electricity. And you see something like this. All right, you step on it, door opens, you go inside of that building, and there is nothing else inside but the walls. You will try to get out and like, oh shit. Oh shit, what now? Imagine that nothing inside, there is nothing inside other than like this. You entered inside. You cannot get out. You try to, you cannot just go and like what I can do, just go and click, destroy someone's plates, and you can be trapped inside, okay? You can literally get trapped inside, you see. Okay, I'll give you an idea with this, what you can do, and I, I will maybe make that, it, it's a lot of work to do. You do this, you open the door, and then you have a bunch of hallway. Basically, you can build a maze for your friends, you build a maze, one way in, one way out and then they have to go through the maze all the way around find their exit and yeah it could be kind of game inside of game but you can also be trapped be aware of that this is proximity switch when i get closer for example imagine if you have portal over there that you want like i don't want my portal to use uh, the power if i'm not there so you can make this when you get closer your portal gets powered up and the way you do it is you put some power in it and you connect it to the light. So, power, light, when you get closer, it will turn on whatever you want, all right? So, from this thing, I have connected, this is inverter, all right? You need to bring the power, okay, this is my input, to inverter, this is my output. It works like this. If I don't have power on this, this will be on. If I do, this will be off. You can see that my proximity switch output some power in this, and this is on. If I step away, it gets on, all right? This is regular switch. Okay, power, hold on. You see, I brought power here and just output in and out step on it it turns on whatever you want this is connected to this automatic switch and just be creative i step on it and automatic switch also goes on and now you can combine these invert this and that and like you can do whatever you want all right this thing here is just Toggle power flow. I haven't found a purpose for it, but here it is. All right. And you also have regular wall switch. All right. Something you want permanently keep on or off. So here, what I did, since this door is closed when it's powered, I made this switch, which comes here. All right. Powers this on. Then I inverted this with inverter. So when I step on it, it just opens the door. Just the basics of like logical circuits. But yeah. So once again, you bring the power. This is output. When I step on it, this gets signal to output power. So I have power here now because I step on it. Since this is open while it doesn't have power, I inverted this. So I need to power it anyway. I have sent signal like this is like one, I have power. That means this will invert it and it will output zero, which means that this will be open. I really hope that this makes sense for you. Okay, that's it. Just be careful of this. Someone could trap you like this. You know, you go inside once again and just like, you know, Stay safe. 
And now the last thing I, I, th that we have here is industrial. Basically wiring, you have mineral extractor and gas extractor. And supply depot, which is basically just, these are just storage units. And these supply pipes. All right. As you can see, I'll, I have one mining mineral station right here. So how I do that? I just go summon my exocraft. I go around. I drive it around. When I come somewhere, I press E to exit. I press F. And I'm while holding F, I'm pressing number 3. And as you can see, it shows me where the minerals are. Yeah, it would do this. And there we go. So this thing also has like a bubble around it. So the closer you are to it, the more will extractor extract per hour. Okay, 152. The more I'm moving away, it's, it's just going down. All right. So how do I do this? Basically, what you do is you build so what i did why do i have so many of those you can see that it requires metal plating and chromatic metal just go on any space station and don't worry about a market over there uh, uh galactic market i always forgetting uh, what's the name of that thing just wait for pilots to land on any space station and buy from them per uh, a pilot you can get like 45 to 70 80 metal plating or 2000 chromatic metal just wait for them, buy that. Or if you have like a copper mine, like I do, convert copper in chromatic metal. So build this. That thing needs power. And now you can see that this is extracts 175 per hour. If I go inside, it says 175 overall storage, 250. When I connect them all, look at this. This is amazing. And then what you do, you connect the pipe. You connect it with other device and voila. Now I added that one to the whole grid. Then what you do, what I did over there, it requires 10 metal plating. What, that's why I'm saying you need a lot of metal plating. Build this thing and this thing can store, I think 1,500. I think that this thing, it doesn't say now, but I think it can store 1,500 of something. Yeah, something like that. 1,150 or, or 1,500. Okay, and you build a bunch of those. The thing is, since this, okay, number C, number C, no, letter C, you can build on top of each other. So if you're going further away, the amount that you're uh, mining per hour gets down. But if you build on top of this, yeah, it's it's getting crazy. You can build so much. I don't need any more. I have built my solar panels and batteries. I tried to find electromagnetic field around it. Like when you press F, number three, and like no nearby hotspot. I tried to bring power from over there. It says too far. Basically, I wasn't able to find this kind of resource close to something else. On the left side, I didn't say this, when you find your resource, you can see potential. Uh, density and max density and which class is it and what material is. Basically, if this would be S-class, these extractors would extract, now it's like, I don't know, let's say, I don't remember, it was 175 per hour. With S-class, it would be like, 450 units per hour all right over there i have built those all over the place so you can go inside just take it but just be aware to have enough space in your exosuit you see that's 1.155 million uh units you can sell that and voila all right everyone i think that that's it that that's everything about uh what you need to build everything you need for a base everything you have for your base you do have some decorations that you can buy uh on the uh, space anomaly if you're a quicksilver hunter i'm not yeah i might make a video about that 
But yeah, this is it. I really hope that this helps you. And I think that I went through everything. If I skipped something and you want to know, you have questions about that. If you have questions about anything, just post me in the comment section. I really hope that you like this video and that it will help you. Uh, in the next video, next video, uh, I will show you the best way you can get ton and ton and ton of money really quickly really quickly uh yeah i hope that you like this video if you liked it drop a like uh, if you're new to my channel please subscribe and yeah enjoy your base building i'm complete looney and bye bye